welcome to Painting with Mike. I am your host, Mike. Let me tell you, you look absolutely wonderful. I have here an 18 by 24 inch canvas, and let me go ahead and run the colors. Should be down here below. 18 by 24 inch canvas. I went ahead and put a white medium on there so it is prepped and ready to rock and roll. And if this is your first time viewing, I really hope you enjoy the platform. And for those that have viewed and subscribed, thank you so much. It always, always warms that heart, it really does. So let's go ahead and rock and roll today, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull out, just pull out some, some of your blue right there and put it into your two inch brush. And as always, everything, everything is in this, okay? You just gotta, just gotta unleash it and lock it, put it on there and just have some fun. And that's what it's all about. And we'll go ahead and, and make something beautiful today, okay? Let's go ahead and we'll start out right here. We'll just start right here in the corner. And you can swirl it and do your X's, whatever you'd like. But remember, remember with this technique, it's a, it's a little bit at a time, okay? If you put too, too much paint, you'll have trouble later on, okay? And so just, just feel good, get some paint on there. And just do something like so. There we go. You know, if this is your first time painting, I do believe, believe in you. I know you can do it. I really think that if anybody can hold a paintbrush, can definitely paint. And I'm, I'm, I'm serious about that. I mean, painting for me, I've always wanted to, wanted to do this. When I was a, a kid, I watched Bob Ross. I was a child of the 80s, so I grew up watching Bob Ross. And I just, so I always wanted to do it. And then as an adult, as an adult, I was able to learn. And I mean, I just took off with it. I just, when you, if you want to paint and it's something that you want to do, you just, you're going to have to get the equipment. That's the big thing. Get, get the easel, get something to put your paint on, make sure you get good paint and natural bristle hair for your brushes and stuff like that. And it's the plunge. I mean, you have to, you have to go out there and spend the money, but I mean, when you, when you get done and you do a good painting, and especially when you've never, never really had any good success and you go ahead and you, you have a really nice painting, you're going to feel really good about yourself and you're going to be addicted and you're going to want to continue to paint. And that's, that's what, what it's done for me. And I'm going to go ahead and just put some, maybe some water. We'll go ahead and put some water here. Maybe. Something like so. And we'll put some over here as well. There we go, just like that. I wanna darken that up. And as you can tell with this, the whole time I've just been, been adding a little paint, a little paint at a time. And you just want to go straight across, just like that. And I'll go ahead and just, just fade this out and blend it. If you think you have a lot of paint, get, get the paint off your, your brush. You can wash it or whatever, and then go back over this. I don't have too, too much paint, so I'm just gonna use the same brush. And then right here, I'm just gonna mist it out. That had the nice white, white line right here, so we'll just go ahead and mist that out. We went ahead and put in a nice little scene already. 
let's go ahead and use a use a flat brush okay and I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into a little bit of this blue here a little bit of this blue and a little bit of this black and let's go ahead and uh, maybe something like so Just go in, do something like this. Maybe something like so. Let's come in and just, just fill this in a little bit right here. All I'm doing is just, just pulling it down, okay? And by not having a lot, a lot of paint because you don't you don't have to use a lot of paint because of the because of the medium, so nice little thing do something like so we will have it something like that there we go and I'm gonna take a little bit of this a little bit of this chrism and a touch of that blue and see what we get might be a little too red so we'll add a little bit more, a little bit more of that blue. Let's see. A little out of time. Remember, a little out of time. A little out of time. There, something like so. And then we'll just come in. Not much detail with this. I want it kind of, kind of faded in the background. So all I'm doing is just, just moving with the, the lay of the land. Move the lay of the land. That's all. And then uh, maybe one more right here. There we go. Maybe I'll just darken that slightly, slightly. There we go. All right, there you go. Let's, let's go ahead and use a use a fan brush, okay? And remember, feel good, feel good, okay? I'm gonna go ahead into. I'm gonna go right into straight. Yellow. I'm gonna put it right here just so I don't pollute this this yellow quite yet I'm just gonna go with this straight yellow and just tap just tap into it just tap into it and we'll just start we're doing something like that okay and I'm just just pushing it I don't want much detail just want to know that there's a, a mountain back there or foothill okay and so I'm just just pushing right in there and let me go ahead and grab a little bit more there we go same thing just crunch into there boom 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 and then come in And then what I'm doing here is just kind of like reflections. That's all. Let's add a little, a little bit of the yellow ochre. And give it some nice little things. And then let's go ahead and just lift up a little bit. Crunch it in like so. Remember, not much detail here, not much detail. This is way, way in the distance, so it's okay. Let's add a little bit more of that yellow ochre. Do something like so. There we go. 
And then I'm gonna add just a just a touch of this white. And just a couple little spots here there. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. Let's go ahead and put this down. I'm going to grab a, I just grab a two inch brush and I'm going to go right here, very small over here and start pushing it straight down, straight down. And then as you get further up, a little bit bigger down, there you go. Something like so. And then go ahead. across. Now with a palette knife, let's go ahead, pull a little bit of your, your titanium white out. Get some on here. And we're just going to put it in, just put some water lines in just a, just a couple of spots. Maybe something like so. Not too much. Like I said, it's really in the distance. So you just leave it back there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use a, just use a one inch brush. Let's go ahead and to, let's make a pile actually. Let's grab a, grab your palette knife. Let's go ahead and grab a pile here, we'll go brown, some black, some of your chrism, and a touch of your blue. And we'll go ahead and just mix this up nicely. All right, let's go into the one inch brush. And I think we'll just go ahead and kind of pull down. Just pull down in one direction, turn the brush up, and let's go ahead and put some stuff right here. All you do is just push them right into it, okay? So, okay, something like that. Something like that. Let's go ahead and use the fan brush. Go into that same pile. Let's add a little bit, a little bit more black, a little bit of red, a little bit of brown, a touch of that blue. And then let's go ahead and just put in some, some stuff. So just straight down. Right down, just like so. Same thing, load up. Like that. Maybe we can, huh, something like so. Add some black. It's more of the red. Some of that blue, not too much of that stuff. There. And we'll do something like so. And eh, let's 
do a different one. We'll just tap into it like so. Just tapping into it. And we'll do something like so. Go ahead and grab this and just a little bit more. And maybe we'll put another one right here. There we go, something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm just gonna scratch in some trunks. Let's go ahead and grab a one inch brush. I'm gonna dip into a little bit of this white medium that I have. And I'll go into, I'll go right into the straight yellow again. I'm just gonna tap it. We're gonna use the top corner of the brush. There we go. So you're just gonna go like that and use the top of the brush here. And just tap it. Just like that. Go right back into it. Right back into it. Same thing. Maybe a touch of that green. Tap into it. Okay. And there we go. front and there you go and I'm really just talk, touching this really soft really soft and it just takes off what it wants it takes off what it wants all right let me go ahead and put that down and grab a Let me just grab, I'll just use this one inch brush. Let's go ahead and, and just block in some stuff here. So I'm gonna use a, the black here, go into this pile. And I'm just blocking in, trying to figure out what I want to do next here. Go ahead and color that in right there. There we go, something like so. Gives us a nice little idea right there. I'm just gonna use the same brush. Let's go ahead and go into the black again, some of that chrism, and some of that blue. something like that there we go and let me 
you take this. And I think today we'll go ahead and use a fan brush and I'll make some tree trunks with this. So I'm gonna grab some of the white. I'll just put it right there and grab some of the brown. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make some trunks. Something like that. Some, some other guys right here, like so. And let's go ahead and use that one inch brush and grab some more of that medium here. I'm gonna grab some of that sap green. And same thing. A little, a little bit more of that green, there we go. And then it's the same thing, same thing. Just like that. Just like that, okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use, let me go ahead and use this and go into some white. And Let me use a paint brush, it'll be a little bit quicker. It's got this little flat brush, we'll just use that. There we go. There we go. So that looks kind of like a nice little path there. Now we go ahead and use a, another one inch brush. Let's go into some of the white medium here. And uh, let's go into the yellow ochre. A little bit of this yellow ochre and I'll come in and just put some stuff in here there there we go something like so and I'll grab this let's go into some we'll go into a little bit of black and let's put something right here It'll be like a little, maybe a little wooden bridge or something. And do the same thing here. Brush. We'll 
brown, a little black. Tap this in. just like so and let's go ahead and get something nice nice and big over here as well same thing just like so same thing let's go ahead and get something nice and big right there So, and let's tap that into some texture. Something like that. Okay. I'm gonna take, take my two inch. I'm just gonna go ahead for reflections and Put this down. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use the palette knife here. And do something like so. Clean this guy. I go ahead and use some of the white medium here and go into back into the yellow and I just want to kind of lay in, lay in some stuff there right there Same thing. Something like that. Give it a little bit, a little bit more of that medium, some of this white. Something like so. Tap that in for now for reflections. There. And something like that. All right, let me put this down. <clears throat> uh, you know what? Uh, let me just real quick. I want to put in put in a rock right there. So I'm gonna go ahead into the brown. And I think I'm just gonna put a nice, nice big old rock right there. Some of the yellow, or excuse me, some of the white into that brown. I'm gonna use the small side of the knife and just come in and. Something like so. A little bit more of that medium. There we go. Something like that. All right, with the one inch still, and go back into the into the white medium here again. into my yellow and all 
All right, one inch brush. Once again, a little bit more of that medium. A little bit more of the medium. And back into this yellow right here. Okay. And then something like so. Something like that. A little bit more of this yellow here. Same thing, just tap into it. Very, very, very soft. Yeah, just a tad bit more. Remember, little, little bit at a time. That's why I keep grabbing it and come over here and tap them first before I go into my pile. So that's not too, too thin. It's not too, too thin. So and you just come in and something like so. And I think we'll go ahead and push into it like this. Some straight white. And grab some more of that medium. So very, very light here. Put some nice little wild flowers and stuff. To the into the medium go ahead and take the two inch brush very softly very softly and then across very small amount of your white here something like so maybe one more spot there and then one more right there there we go and I'm gonna go ahead and scratch in some lines and then we're going to basically be done here. And I'm going to go ahead and use the liner brush. Give me just a second here to get my bucket where I need to be at. There. So I'm going to go ahead and use some paint thinner. And I'm going to go into this white stuff here, whatever, what I have left over. moving it and twisting it till you get your point and then we'll come in and put some stuff in well I have to go ahead and just re-highlight that real quick and you know where 
wherever you think these would, would go, just go ahead and put them right in there. Go ahead and use the medium. Like I said, wherever you, wherever you think. Go ahead and clean this. And go into, into my black here. Same thing, as always. Something like so. Down. I'll go ahead and use a uh, go ahead and use this brush right here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this real quick. And I think we'll go into into our yellow ochre. Look a bit, look a bit of the medium. And I'm just crunching it. Something like so. And let me use this one inch brush. It's got one last thing. Something's just not bothering bother me I made a little boo-boo here so I just want to go ahead and fix it so I'm just going to go into some straight black just like that and tap into a little bit a little bit of this medium again Same thing, just the corner of the brush. There we go. Maybe something right, right there. And with that, go ahead and use my medium. Sign. Grab a little bit more, it's just not coming out right now. There we go. Just remember to use your use thin paint and it should slide over. Well, I really like to thank you for today's project. I really hope you liked it. A little, little cramp, a lot of, a lot of stuff into there, but thanks, Blue Sky. 
little pond, little lake in the back. And with that, I really, really hope you enjoyed it. So thank you so much for painting with Mike. And until the next painting, please take care of yourself.